Again, photojournalist Sean Pierce brought us the sights and sounds of that ceremony. In the kitchen now with Chef Wendell. The time is 6.46. Good morning to you. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Good morning, Drew. Happy Easter weekend. Yeah, same to you. You look like a colored Easter egg with all your colors. Hey, you know, you got to <laughs> look the part you for do. the occasion. You do. You look great today. Thank you. Wow. So you are making such a nice treat for well, us. Yeah, because you know there's some things out there that we really like, and we eat lots of them when they come <laughs> around once a year. But I made... Samoas. Okay, we know okay. that name because okay. it is a popular oh. cookie oh. that is sold by little ones. Oh, and they've got a great program for the kids to learn yeah. how to run a business and all that. So, but anyway. It's only available for a limited time. Exactly. So then once you finish your box, what do you do after exactly. that? Exactly. <laughs> now, a lot of people are kind of concerned about the ingredients. So I thought, well, let's make a healthy one. And so I started looking into dates. And we've talked about magnesium deficiency before mm -hmm. in this segment. Uh, the reason I hit that drum again, because the science is that we're about 90% of us in America, and these are supportable statistics from the Journal of Medicine, are deficient in magnesium. And when you think about what magnesium does, um, it prevents heart disease primarily. It's one of the main causes that people who are deficient in heart disease. Well, let me just read, a 10 year study found low magnesium levels contributed more to heart disease than did cholesterol and saturated fats. So that's a pretty stunning figure. Um, and a journal of intensive care medicine uh, indicated long-term magnesium deficiency makes you twice as likely to prematurely die as people who do eat foods with magnesium in them. Okay. Now, where is it? It's in exactly, dates. Exactly, yeah, what foods? Well, here we go, dark chocolate. Who doesn't like dark chocolate? Oh, all right, you know? an excuse to eat but more. But not milk chocolate, you know, we want to get the imported good stuff. Uh, dates, avocados, nuts, seeds, beans, bananas, foods that we may not may not be in our radar all the time, you okay. know. So, so what I did, Drew, I'm going to make the dough right now. We've got some finished products. Yes, they're imperfect, but good grief, I made them from scratch, you know. Um, so I got the food processor. Now the key is you've got to take the coconut, and there's coconut in the grocery stores everywhere. I get the unsweetened, okay. organic kind, and you put this on a sheet pan and you toast it. They get nice and you'll see how they're brown. If you put them in there white raw, it's just not going to work. So you got to toast them and plus it intensifies the flavor. It helps the texture, I'm oh, sure, a little oh, bit. Oh, yes, yeah. absolutely. So I get the dates in here okay. and I just pulse, pulse, pulse. And what we're going to do when we're done is I've got some milk chocolate, actually. Um, they're semi-sweet, dark chocolate. Okay. And we're gonna dip these, and we're gonna make Ooh. Samoas. Oh, Drew. That looks delicious. You are not. So we've got a healthy, we've turned something that might be a little marginally not good for us into something super, super healthy okay. and enjoyable at the same time. That's a good a good timing, too, because maybe you have time to make these today. Oh, five minutes. Put them in the Easter basket tomorrow. Oh, my gosh, you could put five minutes. It's only three ingredients, chocolate, dates, and coconut. Pulse. The only Sold. thing is <laughs> you've got to make them in little patties uh -huh. first, like I did, and then you put them in the freezer. Okay. And you get them nice and firm, and when we're done, we'll have the milk chocolate. We'll the That'll chocolate. be the fun part, and we'll get to lick our fingers and get all <laughs> okay. messy and stuff. Okay, finishing touches coming up in an hour from you now. Bet. We'll see you, you then. And, of course, we'll get this recipe on wishtv.com. I know a lot of people are going to be yeah. answering oh, for this simple, one. Simple, simple, simple. Good stuff. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Drew.